Once upon a time, in a vast and lush jungle filled with tall trees and vibrant flowers, there lived a cute little elephant named Ellie. Ellie had big floppy ears, a tiny twirling trunk, and the brightest eyes that sparkled with curiosity. She loved to play all day long, splashing in the watering holes, rolling in the mud, and chasing after butterflies. Ellie's mother, Mama Ella, was a wise and gentle elephant. She adored her playful daughter, but often worried about Ellie's adventurous spirit. Ellie, my dear, Mama Ella would say gently every morning, remember not to go too far into the jungle. It's easy to get lost, and there are many dangers out there. Ellie would nod her head, her little ears flapping. Okay, Mama, she'd say, but in her heart, she was too excited about the day's adventures to pay much attention to her mother's warning. She wanted to explore every corner of the jungle, especially those places she hadn't been to before. One bright morning, as Ellie was playing near the river, she heard a rustling in the bushes. Out popped a small lion cub with a golden mane just starting to grow. The cub had mischievous green eyes and a smile that seemed to stretch from ear to ear. Hi there, said the cub with a friendly purr. I'm Leo, who are you? I'm Ellie, said the baby elephant, looking curiously at Leo. She had never met a lion cub before. What are you doing here? I'm exploring, Leo exclaimed proudly. Mama says I'm not supposed to go far, but there's so much to see. Ellie's eyes sparkled. My mama says the same thing. She tells me not to go far in the jungle, but I just want to explore too, Leo grinned. Then let's explore together. I know a secret path that goes deep into the jungle. We can find all kinds of new things. Ellie hesitated for a moment, remembering her mother's words, but her curiosity got the best of her and she agreed. Okay, but just for a little while, she said. The two new friends trotted off together, laughing and chatting as they went. They followed the secret path Leo had mentioned, which twisted and turned through the jungle like a snake. The deeper they went, the denser the jungle became. Tall trees blocked out the sun and strange noises echoed around them. Isn't this exciting? Leo whispered, his eyes wide with excitement. Ellie nodded, but she was starting to feel a little uneasy. Maybe we should go back now, she suggested. I don't want Mama to worry. Against her better judgment, Ellie agreed, and they continued on. As they walked, they came across a beautiful clearing filled with flowers of every color. Butterflies danced in the air, and a small stream trickled nearby. It was the most magical place Ellie had ever seen. Wow, Ellie gasped, her eyes wide with wonder. So beautiful here. Leo nodded, looking around in awe. See, I told you it would be amazing. They played in the clearing for hours, splashing in the stream and chasing butterflies. Ellie had never had so much fun, but as the sun began to set, she suddenly remembered her mother's warning. We have to go back, Leo, Ellie said, her voice filled with worry. Mama will be so worried about me. Leo looked around and realized that the jungle was getting darker. You're right, Ellie, we should go back, but which way did we come from? Ellie looked around. I, I don't know, she cried, her eyes filling with tears. Leo's ears drooped. I'm sorry, Ellie. It's okay, Leo. We'll just have to find our way back. Their fear growing with every step. Ellie wished more than anything that she had listened to her mother. She missed Mama Ella's comforting presence and her warm, protective trunk. After what felt like hours, they heard a rustling in the bushes. They froze, holding their breath, and a large shape emerged from the shadows. It was Mama Ella. Ellie, Mama Ella cried, rushing over to her daughter. I was so worried about you. Ellie burst into tears, throwing her trunk around her mother's leg. I'm sorry, Mama. I didn't listen to you, and now we're lost. Mama Ella wrapped her trunk around Ellie, pulling her close. Oh, Ellie, I'm just glad you're safe. The jungle can be a dangerous place. Ellie nodded, sniffling. I will, Mama. I promise. Mama Ella turned to Leo, and you must remember to listen to your mother too, little one. She only wants to keep you safe. Leo nodded, looking up at Mama Ella with big, sorry eyes. I'm sorry, I just wanted to explore. Mama Ella smiled kindly. Exploring is wonderful, but you must always be careful and listen to your parents. By the time they reached the edge of the jungle, the stars were twinkling in the sky and the moon was shining brightly. Mama Ella led Ellie to their cozy spot under a big baobab tree, while Leo headed off to find his own mother. Good night, Ellie. Leo called softly as he left. I'm glad we're friends. Good night, Leo, Ellie replied, smiling. I'm glad we're friends too. As Ellie snuggled up close to her mother, she felt safe and warm. I'm sorry, Mama. 
I know you will, my dear. And remember, you can always have adventures, but it's important to do so safely. And from that day on, Ellie and Leo continued to explore the jungle. But they always remembered to stay close to their families and listen to their mothers.